The Danakil Desert is a desert in northeast Ethiopia, southern Eritrea, and northwestern Djibouti. Situated in the Afar Triangle, it stretches across 100,000 square kilometers of arid terrain. The area is known for its volcanoes and extreme heat, with daytime temperatures surpassing 50 degrees Celsius. The Danakil Desert is one of the lowest and hottest places on Earth. Thousands of years ago, the larger Danakil Desert was part of the Red Sea, but volcanic eruptions formed rock barriers and created an inland sea that eventually evaporated in the intense heat. Vast salt flats and salt lakes remain and are still mined by the nomadic Afar tribes, who transport salt slabs from Danakil by camel caravan. One of the Afar's claims to fame is due to an anthropological find in the Afar Depression. In 1974, anthropologists discovered a new species of man in Hadar in the Awash Valley in Ethiopia. This new species was termed Australopithecus afarensis, a far ape man, and is believed to have walked around eastern Africa between 2.9 to 3.8 million years ago. The body was found to be female and named Lucy. Lucy was able to walk upright on a human-like body, but still retained a small ape-like head and primitive teeth. Local geology is characterized by volcanic and tectonic activity, various climate cycles, and discontinuous erosion. The basic geological structure of this area was caused by the movement of tectonic plates as Africa moved away from Asia. Mountain chains formed and were eroded again during the Paleozoic. Inundations by the sea caused the formation of layers of sandstone, and limestone was deposited further offshore. As the land rose again, further sandstone formed above the limestone. Further tectonic shifts caused lava to pour out of cracks and cover the sedimentary deposits. The Danakil Desert has a number of lakes formed by lava flows that dammed up several valleys. Among these is Lake Afrer, which has thick saline crusts on its banks. The area is flanked toward the east by the Dankel Alps, a tabular mountain system that has a few volcanic cones which peak and hide in Mount Ramlo. A plinth of salt can also be found in the Salt Plain Flatlands. Other local lakes include Lake Asail, 160 meters below sea level, and Lake Juleti slash Afrera, 80 meters below sea level, both of which possess crypto depressions in the Danakil Depression. The Afar people mine for a day more until the camels are fully loaded with the salt tiles. It will then take two or three days to get to the nearest town, with guards watching the camels and guarding them from bandits. The salt deposits were created when water from the Red Sea flooded the area and then evaporated. The most recent flood was roughly 30,000 years ago. In the past, the salt blocks were used all over Ethiopia as money. Although cash has replaced the salt, the trade itself remains the main livelihood of the Ethiopian Afar, and they guard and manage the white gold as their greatest treasure. Fokolo, extractors, and Edil, cutters, works with salt from the vast salt pans and take them to market in Mecca on the backs of camels and donkeys. It is about a week's walk, often only with a small loaf of bread and bottle of water. Despite being in the Danakil region of Ethiopia, an area that is home to the Afar people, most of the salt workers are Tigrayans from the highlands to the west who have come for the work. In the past, salt was used as a form of currency in the region, but now the miners use regular cash to conduct transactions. The Danakil Depression lies at the junction of three tectonic plates and has a complex geological history. It has developed as a result of Africa and Asia moving apart, causing rifting and volcanic activity, erosion, inundation by the sea, the rising and falling of the ground all played their part in the formation of this depression. Sedimentary rocks such as sandstone and limestone lie unconformably with basalt which resulted from extensive lava flows. The land surrounding the Danakil Depression was once part of the Red Sea. While the water is gone, salt remains in extraordinarily large quantities and has proven to be a valuable and fatal commodity for locals. The Danakil Depression is a contender for the hottest place on Earth, at least if you measure the average year-round temperature, reportedly 34.4 C, rather than focusing on isolated bursts of extreme heat. Worse, it only receives 100 to 200 millimeters of rainfall per year, and it is also one of the lowest places on the planet, at 125 meters below sea level. 
Combined, these factors make it one of the most inhospitable environments in the world.